What is up guys? I am Samuel and welcome back to Louisiana. So as you know, a few days ago we reached 100 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. That's awesome. Well today guys, we are going to be filming a video where we test summer life hacks. We have found all these summer life hacks on Google and we're going to be testing them to see which of them are actually worth your time, which ones work, and which ones don't. So let's get into it. Whoa, Sammy, you look pretty hot. Yeah, I am. It's 102 degrees. Here's the ginger ale to cool you off. Oh, thanks. It's not very cold. Can we fix that? All right, so this first life hack is for when your summer drink warms up and it's not cold anymore. You need to cool it off really fast. So this is called how to cool off your drink in two minutes. We're going to give it a test. So first you need some ice water and some salt. All right, well here is our bucket of ice water and here is some salt. So we're gonna put some salt in and there's some interesting physics behind why salt will make this work faster. And then once you have your salt and your ice water, you can take your drink and put it in and it will cool off much faster. All right, here you go, Samuel. I brought you your ice cold ginger ale. Oh, thanks. Man, how do you get it cold so fast? Well, you see, I took some salt and I put it in some ice water and then I put your ginger ale in that and the salt lowers the freezing point of the ice so the water can actually get colder than normal without freezing and it really cooled your ginger ale off very fast. Look, I have the problem. My straw is coming up out of my drink. Is there anything you know to do for that? Oh, that's easy to fix. Let me have it. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the little lid flip it around and we're gonna poke your straw through there like this problem solved here you go Samuel all right well we're on to life hack number two and this is how to make a very interesting experiment with water so what I've done here is we have a bottle of water inside a bucket of ice with some salt sprinkled on it and this works a lot like the experiment we just did where you have the salt and it lowers the freezing point of the ice and it lets it get a whole lot colder without actually freezing the water and what we're going to do is 15 minutes later, we're going to pull this uh, bottle of water out and it should be what is known as super cooled. And what we can do then is we can just tap it or get a little bit colder and it will freeze immediately. I've attempted this a few times before and it's never really worked that great, but we're going to give it a shot this time and see if we can get it to work this time. We're going to hope it does. So we'll be back in 15 minutes. All right. Well, it has been 15 minutes, so we're going to get our bottle of water out of the ice and we're going to see if we can get it to freeze. So uh, let's just take it out gently and <laughs> bump it on the counter and see what happens. <gasps> oh, it worked. I've never seen that happen before. Wow. It's frozen. Guys, that's the first time that has ever worked for me, so that is definitely a success. That was awesome. I just left it in for 15 minutes and it froze. All right. All right, well, here it is, and you can see the ice inside of there that just formed after we bumped it. Um, I've never had this work for me before, and that's pretty impressive. So the way it works is the water is at a freezing point, but it, it doesn't have uh, anywhere to start freezing, and once you bump it, it gives it a point to start freezing at, and then it just freezes all the way down. So that was definitely a big success. All right, well, we are back with our next life hack to test for the summer. And this is how to keep your water cool even when it's extremely hot outside. So you're gonna need your water bottle, okay? And you're also going to need a glass. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to open up our water bottle and we're going to pour half of it out and just leave half of the water in it. And then we are going to freeze this laying down all right so now we're going to freeze this and it's going to keep the bottom part cool and when you pour your water back in it'll all stay cool and slowly melt in the heat and we're going to test this out all right so let's put this into the freezer we're going to freeze this normally not with our fast method so there it goes into the freezer we're going to let that sit there for a few hours and we'll be back to test this out. All right. Well, our water froze in the bottom of this water bottle and now we have ice in the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour the water back into the top and it's going to keep all the water cool. So we can just pour this back in and I'm um, doing a terrible job here. Let's just get it filled up real quick. All right. There we go. So we have the water poured back in and now 
what will take place is you can drink the water at the top and the water in the bottom will slowly melt. You'll keep on making water and you'll also keep the top part cool. So you'll have cool water all day long and this is a very useful hack that I will actually probably be using. So, that's it. All right guys, I'm gonna let my mom give me a haircut. So we're gonna hope I'm not bald after this. But if I am, it's not my fault. Yeah, I trust you, okay? All right, don't mess it up. All right, let's do this. If you want to see a better video and she can tell you how she does it, leave a comment down below and we'll film that. But right now, I'm just gonna let her give me a haircut. All right guys, well that is my haircut. We're gonna end the video there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, Share this video with your grandmother, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.